The purpose of this art exercise is to explore elements of design and to use different kinds of lines in artwork. Students should learn that elements of design are building blocks for creating artwork and that lines are an element of design. Students will also learn about the creative process for artwork. This process will be repeated in many art exercises found on my website. The creative process will engage students in analytical thinking and will provide opportunities for integration with other areas of study. The creative process includes four steps, inspiration, planning, creating, and reflecting. This art exercise also provides opportunities for counting, sorting, reading, and printing. Start by gathering inspiration. In this exercise, I have provided pictures of different kinds of lines, including a picture of a zebra with smooth stripes. I have also provided a reference sheet with different kinds of lines. Perhaps students could engage in a discussion about different kinds of lines in their environment. Students should choose three different kinds of lines that they would like to use in their artwork and record them on their planning sheet. Students can simply draw their lines or they could also print a descriptive name such as dashed, fat or zigzag. A mark can be given for each line that they choose. Using a marker, crayon or pencil Students should draw each of their three lines onto strips of colored paper. Using a glue stick, these three strips of paper should be glued to the rectangle which will become the zebra's body. Turn the rectangle over and trim away the extra lengths of the strips of paper. Using a glue stick, place the rectangle on the zebra. Refer back to the student's planning sheet. A mark can now be given for each line that was transferred from the plan to the finished artwork. Discussion might include questions such as, did I remember to include all of the lines in my plan? And what artwork would I like to do next? Students could achieve a total of eight marks for this project, three marks for choosing three lines at the planning stage, three marks for transferring their choices to their artwork, and two additional marks for impressing their teacher. Considerations might include neatness, good work habits, or additional creativity. The planning sheet helps to make the method of assessment clear to students, teachers, and parents. In turn, students could use their planning sheet as a checklist for success. A well-developed creative process paves the way for further creativity and innovation. In conclusion, students who feel good about their achievements will want to repeat the experience, giving more opportunity for further achievements.